Hello there everyone, my name is Crazy Caleb, and today we are not taking a look at 14, but rather we're taking a look at faulty 14 segment displays. Uh, so this is the way the module looks, it's currently cycling through a series of different displays that each correspond to a um, scrambled position in the alphabet for each of these individual letters. So what our goal is, is our goal is to figure out um, where each of the uh, components of red, green, and blue are in, uh, and what position they are in the alphabet. And we need to essentially set each of these guys back up into an alphabetic position. Uh, and we need to make sure that we can do this for that uh, for all alphabetical letters. We need to make sure that all the positions are correct for each individual color. Otherwise, we will receive a strike for it. So the number one uh, tip I would advise you to start off with is, first off, pausing the module. And second, before we actually get right into this, I want to make sure that you guys know how um, RGB components work. I would advise you to know how they work, where they work, because this manual does not specifically state it. But for example, we have the Simon Sens manual. Simon Sens, let's do this. This is essentially how the red, green, and blue components are going to work. Uh, red and green make yellow. Red and blue make magenta. Green and blue make cyan. All three of them combined make white. And this is essentially what we're going to be looking at here. So I would advise you, number one, to get used to get used to memorizing these concepts together, um, because this is essentially what the, what the module is going to be all about is just essentially parsing and making sure that you can figure out what letters we're looking at uh, based off of these colors here. So I'm going to close this because I know how to do all of these colors individually. So let's get right into this. So as I said before, what we're essentially going to be doing is we're going to be trying to look at each individual component. And each individual component is going to be in a random place in the alphabet. They are not going to be at the exact same position. I don't think that's possible. I don't think it was coded that way, but I'm not quite sure. Um, if Quinn knows, because this is made by Quinn, uh, thank you for a great module, by the way. Um, if you could perhaps tell me that in the comments, of course, just uh, let me know. Um, but otherwise, let's take a look. So our goal here is, is to figure out where exactly each individual component we are in the alphabet. And we're trying to essentially rebuild each of these colors here, because uh, each of these characters, because of the fact that all of these 14 segment displays have been swapped, um, have been shuffled, and they need to be swapped back to their correct position. And additionally, the three color channels will be uh, will all be at different positions of their alphabet in the cycle. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to essentially do some sort of swapping here. For example, we have this red, green, and blue here. Uh, this will be what we can choose um, to swap, essentially, each of the individual components. And what we can do is, for example, we can select two individual pieces here, and we can swap each of, that, each of those individual components like that. They can be swapped anywhere, uh, and it doesn't matter about the size of them, it just matters about the component that is present in them. They can be simply swapped anywhere, as you so please. And then, of course, once we have all of our uh, correct uh, positions set, we're going to simply press the Submit button. Now, our left and right arrows are essentially going to be us moving forward or backwards in the alphabet. This is essentially the way that we can take a look. Uh, so we pause the display so we can essentially focus on each of the individual parts here. Um, because that's essentially what we're going to be doing. This can be, this can be easily described as very interactive on the, um, diffuser side. However, uh, in this case, you might need some help figuring out each of these 14 second displays. So what we want to do is we want to take a look at each individual component. We want to focus on, I usually tend to just do red, green, and blue in order. And essentially what we want to do is we want to count the number of segments that is present in each of the, uh, colors here. So in this case, red is present in one, two, three four, five, six, seven components. That means it's present in seven different LEDs here. Uh, in this case, the yellows, the magentas, the whites, and the reds. Those are what's present. That's what, that's what red is present in. So now, what we want to do is we want to get an idea of where red currently is in the alphabet. So let's get a couple more characters, and let's figure out if we can figure out where we are. Now, the tip that I generally tend to use is the lower amount of characters that are in, the, uh, alpha, in, this, in each individual screen, the better. That is going to be much easier to determine where you're at because there is a lot of, for example, six and sevens. Um, but if you get something like a four or a three or a five, even, that's going to be really, really good for you. But for the most part, it's pretty easy to determine where you're at actually in the alphabet, especially because um, it's just not that hard. So uh, taking a look here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, another seven. Okay. Uh, perhaps we're at the beginning of the alphabet somewhere, shape, or form. Reds here are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, then we have, ooh, this could be good for me. Uh, one, two, and three. Okay. 
So we have a 7, a 7, a 6, and a 3. Let's see if we can find that anywhere by actually starting to find the 3, for example. So let's take a look. So a couple options that could be 3s are the lima here. So we have the left, the middle left up, the middle left down, and the bottom position. That's a lima. However, if we go back, kilo is only at 5. So that does not make sense. So let's keep looking. Um, perhaps it could be tango, because we have 3 at the tango. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six at the, at the Sierra. Going back up to the Romeo, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then Quebec is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is our correct position. So currently right now, we're at the Tango for red. So that's currently where we're at. And if we, if we move forward one more time, the red components should be a five for the uniform. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So this is exactly where we're at. And now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can start reconstructing this, um, each of the individual characters. Now, for the most part, for the first part, you generally want to do um, some pretty basic shuffles. You can pretty much do whatever you want. But the reason why you're going to want to go through quite a few characters is because of the fact that there is going to be um, some specific positions that you need to keep track of. But for right now, let's reconstruct our tango like this. We have our current tango. Let's do a uniform. So let's swap you down here. Let's put you up here. Uh, and what essentially is going to be happening is each of the swaps that we do is going to affect each of the other individual screens. That's what's going to be important to keep track of this. And this is why it's going to be so, so important to make sure that you um, do the right shuffles. This is why you're going to want to get a lot of characters because each of the individual screens will be affected. So, for example, let's say if we did um, over here, perhaps, uh, if we were to do this swap right here over here, if we take a look, this swap has been affected at the uniform. This is why we want to be careful with what we swap here, because of the fact that this is going to be um, affecting what we do. So let's keep looking. Now, for example, what we can do here is take this uniform, for example. We had one at the bottom position, and what we need to do is we need to reconstruct the victor that we're currently at right now. So what we can essentially do is we can move um, this guy right here, because it's essentially swapping uh, in between the positions. Uh, then we can swap this top right guy, which is in the exact same position as a uniform, to the bottom left here, which is also present in a uniform. So it's essentially swapping the positions which uh, are in the exact same positions. You're swapping a red with the red. They're going to be left with the red. It's not going to change anything. And then we can simply put this guy right here. Because this guy we haven't had any interactions with, the bottom right one. So that's going to be essentially what we're going to be doing. Now, if, all thing is, if everything is working out, the whiskey should be pretty close together. So we have you, you, you. And we need to get you and you uh, figured out here. So let's do, let's do perhaps uh, this and this. That might work. Uh, next up should be X-ray. X-ray, very close so far. So let's get you set up right there. That's X-ray. Uh, then down to Yankee. Yankee is looking good. Uh, Zulu, Zulu is looking good. Now. Things might start to look really good for you, but essentially what I tend to do is I tend to just play it super duper safe, and I tend to just go through the whole alphabet to make sure that we can reconstruct every single one of them. Um, there is the possibility of there being uh, one or two cases where you'd be off by one or two LEDs. I've had that happen, and it's probably the most common occurrence where it's just simply one swap that did not get performed. So next up should be alpha, because we move back around to the front. Okay, that looks good. Bravo. No, 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 no. Bravo is not quite there yet, so we need to swap you and you. That's perfect. Glad we caught that. That's why we do this, because of the fact that we need to play it safe and make sure that we don't miss anything else. Next up should be Charlie, then Delta, then Echo. Okay. And the reason why some of these swaps can be important is because take a look at the Echo. What we just did at Bravo was we swapped that middle left position, that immediate left, and we swapped it with the middle right in the case of Echo, what all, all we would need to do is we would need to swap these two together, and they would actually be both left red. It doesn't change the fact that they're both red. Let's make sure I kept it at Bravo. Did indeed. And it doesn't change the fact that these guys both have the red components. It's not getting rid of them. It's just simply swapping them in the exact same positions. So that's where the echo comes in. That's where these uh, sort of movements come into play. But there's also some cases where Bravo, for example, can happen where there's only one component that should not be where it is. So just keep that in mind. Next up should be Foxtrot. Foxtrot is uh, not quite there yet, actually. Um... Or perhaps I... Oh, no, this is Foxtrot. Yeah, I did that right. Um, golf. That's good. Hotel. Good. 
India. Uh, good. Uh, yep, Juliet. Juliet is not quite there yet. This is another case where it can be very tricky. Uh, I've definitely struck on this case beforehand where you don't... Um, uh, where these two potentially could swap. See, you could do, for example, a uniform. They could be in the correct position at the beginning, but if you try some of the other letters, which in this case don't have that top left position, that could be sort of where things get a little bit screwy. So next up, Kilo. Okay, that's good. Lima. Yep, that's good. Mike. Yep. November. Yep. Oscar. Papa. Quebec. Uh, Romeo. And then Sierra. And then we should be back to Tango. Perfectly fine. So red, in this case, is set up for us. So now let's take a look at green. So we're currently here. So let's count how many green components we have here. Oh, this is actually a really good. This is actually might not be a good starting position, but we have five uh, right here, because we have the yellows, the greens, and the cyan. So it's going to be a five. Excuse me for a second. Uh, then we have one, two, three. That's actually really good for us. That's going to be a, that's going to be a three. That's going to be really nice. The two greens and the white. Uh, the next up, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be a six. Um, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be another six. And perhaps we can figure it out from this point on. So we need a five, a three, and a six, and a six. So perhaps we can go back up here, and it actually could be this lima in this case, because we had a kilo, which is five components at the beginning. So five, three, then Mike in November, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're currently on the November. Uh, so let's start here. But let's go back to the kilo, which is going to be uh, right here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. No, 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 excuse me. I can't count. Uh, the magenta is not part of that. So it's going to be a kilo. So let's start here. So now let's start com Let's start uh, building everything that we can. So let's do you and you and then you and you. Okay. Next up, Lima. Uh, okay, so let's move you down to there, and then move you to. That's good. And next up is going to be a Mike. Uh, Mike is going to be... Uh, we haven't had anything on the top, so let's do you and you. Um, you and you. Um, maybe you, potentially. Of course, this could be different. This could be potentially different. I'm not quite sure yet, so let's move over to the next one. Uh, November. November is going to be here and here. That's good. Uh, not quite. Hold on. There we go. That's facing that. Um, ooh, we don't actually want to do that. We don't want to move that at all. So let's move these back, actually, just to make sure. Um, hmm. This one's an interesting case. Uh, one, two... Three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, perhaps we swap you and you, and we swap you and you. Th that's just to make sure that we account for the kilo, because in this case, if we were to swap the middle left in the in the middle bottom right, for example, that would mess up the kilo. So we want to make sure that we swap it correctly. That's what we want to keep in mind with this. And then next up, uh, let's go to Oscar. Uh, Oscar's not quite set up, so we're going to swap you and you. That's good now. Uh, Papa, not quite set up. Let's swap. Um, and just to make sure the other case that we had, that does not work for the November. Let's try and figure out something else here. Um, that this was the Papa. Okay. Um, hmm, this one's an interesting case. Uh, oh, let's swap you and you. That could potentially work right there. Uh, and let's swap... Uh, you with you, I believe. That should take care of it. Okay, then Quebec. That's looking good. Okay. Uh, Romeo, that's good. Yep. Sierra, not quite, not quite. Um, so we probably just need to swap you and you. That's good. Okay. Uh, Tango, not quite. Uh, let's take a look and let's potentially do... Uh, we haven't had anything down here, so let's do you and you. That's nice. Uniform, looking good. Uh, Victor, that's looking good. Yep, that's right there. Whiskey is going to be good. That's good. X-Ray, good so far. Yankee, not good. Okay, this is a, this is like the same case with Tango. For example, we have the Tango set up here, uh, wherever it is. And I lost track of it. The Tango, for example, right here. So, for example, uh, in the Yankee case, the top middle part right here does, not, uh, does show up at the... Um, 
there is not supposed to be a green there. However, that shows up in the Yankee case. So this is essentially the case where we want to swap these two. And if we go back down to Yankee, it fixes that problem. That's where this comes into play. And the next up should be Zulu. Okay, that's good. Uh, Alpha, good. Bravo, uh, not good. Glad we caught that. That's another case. Um, Charlie, Delta, yep. Uh, Echo, that's good. Foxtrot, that's good. Yep. Golf, Hotel, yep. India, yep. Juliet, uh, you, 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 yep. And then back to Kilo. Perfect. Everything else should be good from this point on. So that means we have green now resorted. And this is literally what we're going to be doing for the entire process of this model. It's quite fun. Um, but, of course, it's just, it's just much easier to play it safe and make sure that you have all of the characters constructed in the right way and make sure that all the alphabet, uh, alphabetical positions show up. So, let's take a look at our final component of blue. Let's see. Let's, let's count how many, ha how many we have. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's start us off. Okay, then one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six, yep. And we have uh, one, two, three. That's good. Seven, six, three. Okay. Uh, moving on. One, two, three, four, five. That's a five. So seven, six, three, five. Let's try and find that. Um, I believe it's actually the same case with the tango again. Because we have the seven from the Romeo, the six from the Sierra, three from the tango, and five from the uniform. That's perfect. So now we know exactly where we're at. So let's go back to the Romeo. Okay. So we're back at the Romeo. And let's start reconstructing it. So pretty much for the most part, we don't really care about the transformations quite yet. Um, let's move you over here. That's good. That's Romeo constructed. Sierra. Let's move you down to here. Not quite. No, 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 no. Hold on. We want to move uh, you. Uh, this is an interesting one. Okay. Um... Sierra, we can move you down to there. Um, uh, we can move you over here. We don't want you here. So let's swap you and you. That's good. Uh, and then let's swap you and you. Yeah, that should work. Okay, then next up is going to be the Tango. Uh, tango is going to be um, you and you. And... Um, ooh, okay. We need to figure out how to swap you together. So no, let's probably do you and you, and then you and you. There we go. Because of the fact that this was, for example, in this position, and this was in that position, uh, instead of doing this from here to here, uh, instead of doing this from uh, top to bottom here, this does not work for us because of the fact that we would be swapping the Sierra uh, with this top left position, which should not exist in that Sierra. So this is going to be us taking this back right here, putting this right here, and us putting this guy right there. Next up, uniform. Uniform is not quite good so far. That's uh, it's going to be you and you. Uh, Victor. Uh, that's going to be... Ooh, okay. This one's an interesting one. As we have this right here, which we can swap with you and you. Um, however, we don't know how we're going to... I don't know how we're going to swap you and you together. Because um, that kind of does mess with things a little bit. Which is rather quite unfortunate. So, I think we just simply take a chance. We're going to probably come back and we're going to find some uh, positions that need to be swapped to figure that out. Because um, of the fact that this messes with the, the, uh, the Romeo and the Sierra. So, let's keep going. So, we're currently at the Victor. We need to get to Whiskey, um, which is going to be swapping you two. Okay. Uh, then X-Ray. Yeah, here's where things come back and hit me. So let's do you and you. Um, then Yankee. Yankee is good so far. Zulu. Zulu is good so far. Alpha. Good so far. Um, Bravo. Uh, yep. Charlie. Yep. Delta. Uh, still good. Yep. Echo. Uh, Echo's good. Foxtrot. Yep. Gulf. Yep. Hotel. Yes. India. Yes. Then Juliet, uh, Juliet is good. Kilo is good. Lima, good. Mike, yep. November, yes. Oscar, yep. Papa, yes. Quebec, oh, good. We actually, all the issues resorted itself, uh, 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 resolved itself, it appears. Sierra, and now, 
Now that we have everything figured out, we should be able to submit safely. Fine. So let's hit submit. And if if you happen to have any incorrect um, incorrect uh, segments, what's going to happen is those will flash red instead of green. So let's hit submit. And hopefully we have everything pop up as a green. And just like that is a solved module. So I think that's all we really need to cover today. So as always, stay crazy, stay cool. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.